All right, I'm back, collective, and good morning to all who is up. I have a few um, channel messages that I have received from the divine, also with my ascended masters and ancestors included. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start. And I'm just gonna start. So it says there was oh the first um channel message that I received was there was a big bedroom of a cabin home or like a vacation home and in this room was four beds beside one another it was a sex orgy that went down um the bedroom set up shown to me the beds are on both sides of the room with a balcony and it has sheer curtains um so my ascended masters, my ancestors right now just told me that this went down in Atlanta, Georgia. So, uh, I definitely do know somewhat about that situation due to the fact of last year I had, uh, um, went to a cookout, um, that my cousin Jawan had, uh, did a test run on. And it was to see if his projections of his blood sacrifice towards me and my kids was going to work. He wanted to see if it was going to work because everybody was projecting on us that day. But I was protected then. So it didn't work. And my vibrations was so freaking high that my my body was like shaking. It was like an overdose. So I know that the divine had me that at that time. But I knew about the Atlanta trip due to the fact of me standing in behind my uh, cousins, Venencia, Sakia, um, Tyresha, and Tiffany um, definitely stood in front of me. And they were, I don't know if they, if they meant to do it or not, it, didn't, it doesn't matter. But they stood in front of me and they were talking about um, taking a, a trip down to Atlanta because Tiffany and Tyresha and them have family down there. And they wanted to go in November or October. It was somewhere around that time. And I just walked away because I knew that it had a lot to do with them wanting to drink and party and fuck around and all that other stuff. Like I said, I didn't bother nobody. So I pretty much know where this is going concerning Venencia, Tyresha, Tiffany, and yeah. Yeah, Tyresha, Tiffany... Venencia. I I knew about that trip already. Um the second channel message was there was a man with glasses laying down in a bed holding and kissing a younger light skinned girl, uh no older than uh in her early twenties. She was kissing he was kissing on her forehead. They shared an open, vulnerable state of expressing their emotions to one another. I don't know nothing about that, so I'm just going to leave it right there. I, I'm i not sure about that. The, the divine has to, you know, open up that, that shunt for me in order for me to see exactly wh what is this. There was a man with glasses laying down in the bed holding and kissing on a younger light-skinned girl, no older than in her early 20s. He was kissing her on her forehead, they shared an open, vulnerable... St okay, so this is my father and Monique. I get it. All right, the third channel message is an older man that lives across seas that has a wife that is Caucasian is angry because he... His deal with my mother, D. Taylor, about lying to this man about agree saying that I agreed to... Uh, some type of contract of selling my spirit, my soul and my, my gifts to this man so that he can harness and uh, manifest off of me. She lied to this man. Um, I never agreed to anything like that. Why would I agree to selling my soul to somebody so that they can manifest material gain? I, that makes no fucking sense to me. But anyway, this man who is of an African descent is like, uh, he looks African and Nigerian. He's tall. He has big lips, a uh, very profound, um, jawline. He's tall. Anyway, he's very mean and evil. 
and this man practices um witchcraft and voodoo um yeah anyway she told this man that he was going to be able to have me as his slave to harness my energy to manifest abundance she tried to sell my spirit soul to this wealthy man for money this man has put up an uh energetic wall up to block me from my mother so she could work up emotions from both parties and he was pulling my energy through me healing so he could manifest what he wants. Uh, the divine sees you and for that alone, trying to sacrifice me for money, power and etc. Your judgment will be death to everything you worked hard for stole. You will have the angel of death follow you every every move you will you and you will be energetically cut from my energy source. And if you try anything else to me or try to force yourself into my energy field, you will have 42 hours before you fall of a quick, sudden death. Your heart will stop beating almost immediately. So I would advise you, I don't have any time to play games with people who work black magic, voodoo, hexes, brujeria. It, um... If you if you use Ouija boards or if you are manipulating alchemy um, or any sort of um, black magic to try to take my will away from me and make any of my decisions for myself so you can harness off of me. I'm definitely going to not I'm not playing around with nobody that uses that energy. So. You know, the divine gave me permission. So if anybody who did it to me, they the equal justice give and take six of pentacles is death. You sent it to me. I get to return it back to you. So you will die. Your family will die. Your money will die. Your assets and power will die as well as my mother. She's already sickly. She's already uh being hit because she's been using black magic and she's next in line for going straight to hell. So. For whoever this masculine is that's overseas and he's Nigerian, African, he got some type of descent. I'm being Peruvian, whatever it may be. You're not American and you live overseas and you think that I volunteered and agreed to, which is I don't know why you even accepted that. That was a bullshit ass lie. It didn't even sound right. You never spoke to me. You've never seen me. You never even been in my sight. And for you to even indulge in a conversation of conversing with someone that you don't even know about selling my spirit, my abundance and my soul to you so that you can harness off of and manifest for power and fame and greed and money. That does not make sense. Make it make sense. Her approach to you wasn't even making sense. It was confusion in the midst of her speaking ill about me to you in congregation of y'all talking about sacrificing me and she did it for money she don't even have no money they spent all the money that they did have everybody that they told that they were going to pay never got any money all these people that i am i'm exposing is to is ex basically to expose my mother and James about everything that they've been doing behind my back and the family. But it's mainly these two that's the ringleader that's still working maliciousness even on their deathbed. You're still doing it and it's not getting you nowhere but faster in hell. Anyway, these people are mentally corrupted spiritually as well and i'm i'm going to continue giving out these messages and i'm going to continue manifesting i'm going to continue closing out these cycles and i am not hanging on to none of these people i do not want y'all in my energy field i proclaim and pronounce my power my strength my energy my love my effort everything that i invested in anyone and then there was thirds and fourth parties that was involved and slid in from the back and it's hidden in the shadows being illuminated and brought to the forefront because the divine sees you and so does the ascended masters. I'm not playing with none of y'all. 
you all are going to die. The ones who work black magic and everything else and fall sickly. And behind your exchange for money, greed, and power. I will not settle for that. I pronounce, I proclaim my power back. And I ask my ascended masters and Archangel Michael to sever all energetic ties from anyone who has been harvesting and harnessing my energy and trying to project my energy field and steal from me. You will fall and you will die. It is not yours for you to take. It is mine and it was given to me. I would never agree to selling myself. So I have another message. Um, I had to wait until I was too tired, too, too, too tired collective. And this was, this is basically a family member. This is my son that I had received a, a message about the clarity about, and it did not hurt me at all. I've healed from it. And, you know, I accepted it for what it was because I already, I already knew what it was hitting for. Okay. Oh, it's two messages. So there is, um, I got this yesterday at, um, 7:46 in the evening. I broke that down to an 11 and then I broke that down again with the date, which is 17. So I came up with seven, seven, seven. Then I broke that down to an eight, uh, and then it broke down to a four. Then it was one, one, one broke down to a six and then three. I will explain cause I'm into numerology. I like it. So the three represents father. It represents um, the father, son, and the Holy Ghost. Okay. So the divine is going to bless someone three times over for their abundance. And as long as they go forth and change the mind frame and pray and meditate and go within and connect themselves with their ancestors, ascended masters, and the source, they will have a new foundation within their relationship. And this couple is actually a dynamite couple. They can be a dynamite couple, but because they both wear masks to one another and they're not really trying to open and admit and express their true emotions and feelings to one another, um, this situation is being watched over by the divine, this, this relationship. So, okay, it says... Uh, at the home of the energy of Taurus, Aquarius, Sagittarius, married couple that a conversation was had. The wife asked her husband about his sexual whereabouts. And if he got someone pregnant, she said that the only, oh, he said that the only hole he was poking is in their bed, but the masculine came home, uh, came home. Yeah. Came home from work with a white powdered substance in his goatee. And when his wife asked what what was it, he told her it had to be what he was eating earlier. And then he gave his wife some candy, but it was old candy he had in his arm war. This masculine is very disrespectful. He is lying to his wife about what was truly in his beard. He had just gotten done eating vagina or sucking dick. And this masculine is obsessed with giving oral to men and women. He has a strong sex addiction problem. Um, yeah, I said that. So also there, there may be a seven or 10 days. Uh, there is going to be a change with someone's home moving or new job opportunity. Okay. And this one is, uh, this is uh, advice from the divine to this married couple. Spiritual elevation is needed for this couple. No one is speaking what they are um, bothered, bottled of expressing their emotions of their worries. They may be concerned with, they both are not listening to. To the higher, to their higher selves, the divine is seeing over this union. This can be a dynamic couple, like I said. If only they speak up and stop uh, wearing masks, lying to each other. Okay, 
So there is a foundation and a union that God is trying to save. If these two would pay attention to the signs and listen to their higher selves and let God take over and not and, and choose to heal and use the trauma of what they are experiencing in their union for all, you know, you could be, excuse me, confirmation burp. You could just be relying on each other, being codependent in a uh, just, you know, bonding through tr uh, trauma. And that's not actually a real bond. That's just something that you are related to that everybody in the world in the world has uh, experienced. And that's not actually learning how to understand someone that's just related hurt and pain. But if you two choose to listen to your higher selves and let the divine take over your union, you need to take these masks off and choose to heal and accept what you have contributed in your union of reflecting off one another because you're mirroring to one another. Whatever your husband is doing to you is what you've done to him. You must acknowledge what you contribute to him feeling this way towards you vice versa and when you get to that point ask the divine to give you peace of mind and healing through the process your ancestors are wanting you guys to connect with them and seek out purpose so that you may get clear direction on how to move within your union your union is definitely being looked at by the divine made source as a dynamic duo. That means nobody can tear y'all asunder. Nobody would be able to manipulate you. Nobody would be able to get over on you guys. And you guys are actually really strong spiritual people. All you have to do is just choose to heal and let the divine lead you through it and he'll either set you up with another relationship or he'll fix your relationship and make it even stronger so that you guys can manifest together and you will have a new abundant um home new ideas new creativity new aspects new goals new orientations you know being led to you to to do but as long as you stay closed minded, you are not going to be able to see at all. And the divine ex is ex is this married couple to take the time to go within and speak up, but not do it out of, you know, harshness, do it being reasonable and with peace sake and the positive mindset that it will come out in a good outcome, even if it means that y'all won't be together, if that is what you choose to do. Just do it peaceably. All right. So if that, um, you know, if it recollected with anybody, please like, share, subscribe, and God bless. I'll be back with more messages if the divine gives me any uh, more exposures and more love and light to give to the collective and i hope everybody is doing a good time and for my collective keep pushing keep keep striving for healing keep keep accepting healing accept the pain convert it into positivity and you will have everything that you need all right so have a good day collective and i will talk to you later